Brentford in the and with four games remaining in the English Premier League, the title and top four races are tighter than ever, with defending champions Manchester City just one point ahead of Liverpool and Arsenal just two points ahead of Tottenham. We're now joined live by Mokami Wambora, who is in the UK and following the EPL proceedings closely. Mokami, I see it's a rainy rainy season there. What can you tell us? What is the latest from your end? Well, Lillian, I am here in Manchester. It's currently 13 degrees. It's been raining heavily for the last few hours here, but um, it's drizzling now, so I'll just put this down so that you can see what's behind me properly, which is the Etihad Stadium. That is the home to Manchester, U Manchester City, who are the, the reigning English Premier League champions. As you know, they are fighting hard to defend their title, and it's really coming down to the wire they are just one point ahead of Liverpool and they'll be looking to really take it to, to Liverpool and win this because now this is the only competition that they have left now that they were devastatingly eliminated from the Champions League this week. You know, Pep Guardiola has really struggled with that competition since he left Barcelona and now all he has to fight for is the English Premier League and they face Newcastle on Sunday and as you know, they say the most dangerous animal is a wounded animal and because the title is so close you know Liverpool are one uh, they're, they're a one goal ahead of Manchester City I'm sure they'll be looking to really do some damage and and get that goal difference but the main reason I'm here is to watch the Liverpool versus Tottenham game I was invited by a Liverpool FC member courtesy of the Liverpool Football Club they bring together different members from different parts of the world and including Kenya and tomorrow we'll get a hospital Vitality experience to watch that game and there's a lot on the line for both teams as I mentioned the title race and of course for Spurs the top four race um, we let's listen in to what the managers for both Liverpool and Spurs had to say about that game this morning speed like crazy Harry Kane what a player um, and obviously fits in that idea extremely well um, there's a blind understanding between them and um, these kind of things. So I say it is probably the biggest challenge for protection we face for a long time, because each mistake you make there, if you have to be have to win a football game, you have to create, you have to 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 be high up the pitch. That's why it's called the goals. The moment you lose it, you should be immediately around all of them immediately, and that's difficult. If we want to win uh, and. Uh... We have to be very good with the ball, and uh, I said this uh, to to my players. Uh, we need to to play uh, um, a good game and to have brave when we have the ball. Don't be scared uh, for uh, their pressure, and to find the solution because I think that uh, we improved a lot and uh, we can go there and uh, to play to try to get three points. You've heard it from both managers, you know, for Klopp, it's it's a very important game. You know, they're coming off uh, an important victory against Villarreal in the Champions League. And they're still on for historic quadruple. So they, they also have all to play for. And if we look at Spurs specifically, everyone is gunning for top four because that means Champions League football. They're two points behind Arsenal in, uh, in that top four race. And Arsenal play leads. So for both these teams, they need need to win to put pressure on the teams that are playing the next day after them. Arsenal playing Leeds and Manchester City playing Newcastle and it'll be a very interesting to g game to watch because for Spurs and Arsenal the next game is the North London Derby and whoever goes into that match with an advantage will also um, be able to, to, to see who can um, do the best I guess in the top four. It's really cold out here Lillian so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, um, there will be a lot of action tomorrow, so I'm going to get a good night rest. We'll have the stories for you for that game tomorrow night. 
Many thanks, Mokami. Keep warm, looking good out there. Uh, four games remaining in the EPL, and Mokami is staying with that story. Many thanks for that, Mokami. It is uh, the end of Friday.